between 2001 and 2006, at least 19 girls and women disappeared on the streets of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Most of them were Latina sex workers in their 20s that were involved in the drug scene. In February 2009, a resident walking her dog in Albuquerque's West Mesa area made a discovery, a human femur sticking out of the ground. Police investigated the site and discovered the bones of 11 girls and women. The FBI identified the work as that of a serial killer called the West Mesa Bone Collector. In the decades since the discovery, investigators still don't know who killed them, and they still haven't found eight other missing women who disappeared between 2003 and 2006. Unfortunately, investigators haven't been able to detect DNA at the burial site. The surviving bones also do not reveal how the girls and women died, though investigators suspect their cause of death to be manual strangulation. Unless someone with knowledge of the murders decides to come forward, it's very unlikely the police will ever declare the case officially solved. There are a few suspects. Fred Reynolds was a pimp who knew one of the missing women and reportedly had photos of missing sex workers. He died of natural causes in January 2009. Lorenzo Montoya lived within three miles of the burial site. In 2006, there were reportedly dirt trails leading from his trailer park to the site. In December 2006, Montoya strangled a teenager at his trailer and then was shot to death by the teen's boyfriend. It would appear the killing stopped after his death. In December 2010, convicted Colorado serial killer Scott Lee Kimball stated that he was being investigated for the West Mesa murders, but he denied killing the women. In 2014, Albuquerque police became interested in Joseph Blee as a suspect for the murders. A tree tag from a nursery was found in the area where the West Mesa victims' bodies were buried. It was tracked to a nursery Blee once frequented. Blee was sentenced to 36 years for assaulting teenage girls in 2015 at 58 years of age. Some authorities suspect the West Mesa Bone Collector is still active but has simply moved across state lines. 